Hello, it's Alina from Eximate Mastery here. Today I want to talk about these spaces in a floor plan in Sketch where the room doesn't appear to be in the room. Um, it's like stretched around. I have a long hallway I'm going to show you. Um, there's also areas that you can define by breaking up the room into a separate room. So like a breakfast nook, dining, living room situation that I wanted to show you. Uh, we were actually going through the level three exam here in Salt Lake City in one of my classes and um, there were some areas that were ambiguous. So I can show you an example of um, what we were looking at today and just kind of clarify um, how the floor plan should be created the, and how you should sketch these open areas and also long passageways. It's very different and interesting. So let me just show you here in Sketch um, how the room labels will kind of move around and some funny things will happen uh, whenever you make rooms, like I said, living room, dining, and breakfast all look like one space, but they're actually three separate rooms. So kind of a combination of topics today, but it'll be really fun to talk about Sketch. I haven't talked about that in a while. So uh, let's get into it and let's look at some sketching rooms in Xactimate. So this is an example of what I'm talking about as um, we were looking at the level three certification prep. Um, the great room here, it's kind of ambiguous where the great room ends and the hallway begins. So it's kind of strange, you know, what square footage or linear foot is assigned to the hallway versus the great room. Also here, the breakfast area and the uh, family room in the kitchen, you can see it's, it's kind of defined and you've got this line here that might be where the family room ends, but it's hard to decipher where things begin and end. And then the garage is interesting. Look how it extends down and around and there is no part, um, room name here. It's an actually just a ex whole extension of this one garage. So I'm going to show you um, how to deal with this situation, um, the pros and cons of what you can do here, and how to kind of decipher this information if you're ever going to go into a higher level certification exam. Um, or even if you're dealing with custom houses and you have to sketch these every day, this is the kind of stuff where you can make some decisions on where you want the square footage to go or not go and where you want it to be assigned. So let's take a look at Xactimate here. I've already got a sketch going. And of course, as usual, I'm in the X1 version of the program and a lot of you are still on 28. So all this information is relevant for either version. Uh, just know that this, this window or this ribbon, I just take that away and basically pretty much everything we're gonna deal with today is gonna be the same in uh, both versions for the most part. So as you can see, my sketch isn't as complicated as the level three. I just created this real quick to show you an example. But basically what's going on is where you see these two room names in one room, and actually let me show you this in 3D, it's a little bit more effective. Um, where you see those room names, there's actually a division you can see here in 3D. And you can see that my hallway extends all the way around, but when you look at the plan version, the label is down here. So it kind of it confuses people who are new to Sketch, like how did she do that? All I did was just wrap the hallway around and the label came down here. So that's what's going on there. Um, also, let me just go ahead and remove this one wall. Let's see if I can get this out of here to kind of drive this home. Let's take those out. So as you can see, if it's one large space like that was on that floor plan, you can choose, you know, it to not just create a big room because what I could do is create the same room shape and then never, you know, have the other labels. So what's the difference? What's the difference between me creating this kind of space that looks, you know, pretty much similar as to having the three rooms broken down? So maybe you want to create just a great room and that's more uh, of what you're looking for. So what will happen with that, if I go over to my estimate items screen, you'll see that this one square footage of the great room um, will I would put in, if I put in paint in that room, it's going to cover all the walls and ceilings of the whole room. But if I sketch the three rooms separately, now I have a living room, dining room, breakfast, breakfast nook, I can add different line items to different areas. Maybe there was a water leak in the kitchen that, uh, or the, um, let's say there's a water leak in the breakfast nook, I didn't put a kitchen in. Um, then it extended only into the, the dining room area and did not affect the living room, but the living room is painted the same color, a nice bright blue, let's say. And so if I, if I repaint the dining and the breakfast, well, then I might need to repaint that area because it's same line of sight. 
Therefore, all the water removal or water uh, drywall replacement, whatever you're working on here in the breakfast nook, wouldn't extend into the living room. However, the paint would. So see the difference as, as opposed to using this great room where it will house all of the items. So you need to, whenever you're scoping and looking at the, the actual home or uh, if you do commercial, you know, the, just the building that you're in and think of how you'd need to break down these areas if the water came out of this wall right here, maybe there was a frozen pipe or something and only affected, you know, some of this area, then um, how do I treat that? So the great room would be a poor representation. However, if it's all affected, like in a flood, do I need to take the time to sketch out all of these little bitty rooms, right? So it just pick your battles, but I like to give you the options to show you, you know, Lysactomy can do a couple versatile things um, that are fun. And then of course with the hall, um, as an example, like I showed you with this area, like the garage, the garage extends all the way up and through and that's why you're not seeing a label here. So same with the hallway, I kind of created something similar. It wraps around, but there's no it's the same room, right? So that's what you need to know in, in Xactomy is when you see a label um, and all that space extends around, that is still gonna be characterized on your grouping tree in Xactomy as the hall. It's the same room, same space. If you ever need to do something fun, like um, break up the hallway, let's say that uh, we had frozen pipe over here, but we don't need to do the drywall the whole way, just maybe half. Um, I could do something funky here, like throw a, another uh, wall in. And let me move my door, it might affect the wall tool. So we can grab a wall and I could separate it into two rooms. This could be hall two, like that. And I could just delete the wall. But now I've got two separate spaces, see the difference? And if you really wanted to trick somebody, you could take hall two and turn off the label. And so it looks like the same space, but that's uh, probably not very useful for you. But you could see over on the estimate items, you would have hall and then hall two because of the way we created this, the, the two rooms here in Sketch. So you can do some tricky things if you want to, but those would be two separate areas, two separate rooms. Just delete the wall and turn off the label and it looks just like the floor plan was. So that's my advice for dealing with large spaces. I get this question actually quite often and thought it would be a good time to address that. So pick your battles and do what you need to do to get your job done, but just think about it thoughtfully, what uh, line items will need to go where and what the way that they should be calculated and put some thought into it and uh, you're gonna come up with a really great sketch. So anyways, my name is Alita Wilson with Xmate Mastery. I train contractors how to use Xactimate. For more information, you can go to my website, xmatemastery.com. Hope you guys have a really great great week in your business and I will see you next week.